wanted an anime opening. Now I have one. One other thing I also wanted was the HUD, the HUD. See up here and there and here. Life goals achieved, right? All right. Here's the thing. I love me some cyberpunk. Love it. Are there many good cyberpunk games out there? No, they're not. But this is one. I mean, it's a cyberpunk game. I don't know if it's good or not, but it's a cyberpunk game. So why don't we just let's play it? Yes. Good. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Elfish ears. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Hunting, gathering, relationship work. organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. <sighs> of course. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow God, the relentless Elvis. pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Forever! How dramatic! Can you feel the tension? The drama. Whoa. This is supposed to be some advanced version. It's got the colored letters and everything. Click it. Click it good. Vapor wavy. Home sweet home. Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. And so we start. Joy. Alright. Um, laptop, look at it. Good old Lappy. It may not be the most powerful or the fastest or have the best screen, but well, it works. Lappy. On a desk called Desky. In my apartment called Apartment D. Just slap a Y letter at the end of it. It's good. Brought to you by the Y letter. Because why not? Um. Looking pretty hot there, Lappy. Like literally hot. Overheating as usual. Coffee, the great equalizer. The one thing that the poor and rich alike need to chug through the day, you assume. No, the rich use cocaine. Coffee. Huh. <laughs> Maybe drink it? The cup has really cooled off on talking. It lost the hots for you a while ago. Uh, um, go outside. It's late and nothing is really open right now. 
a cyberpunk city? Fuck off. Everything's open all the time. Most cyberpunk adventures take place during the night. Through their entirety. There's no day to be found. Oh, fine. Um, sleep. You probably shouldn't sleep before submitting your article. Whoa, motivation. Um, use PC for writing article? Lap is a bit of a relic. Um, you have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. Better do that. Uh, journal logic, uh, compose. Uh, before you can review the GX Ultra Beats, you must become one with... Okay. Where did you put those damn headphones anyway? Okay, our first task is finding the headphones. I remember. I used to play this a couple of years ago. But not much. Sweet. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. I don't know, like, um... PC? The GX Ultra beats sync automatically as you start to watch a live concert from Oakland. Write the review now. Maybe. You should try out the GX Ultra beats a little more before you write a review for them. Yeah. Don't want to tarnish our journal. <laughs> Journalistic integrity. Heaven forbid. All right, now um, I remember this part as well. Take a guess. On which item would you use in this room? Uh, we already tried the computer. Maybe coffee. Nah, not coffee. The desk. I can't even click the desk. What kind of a shitty game is this? You should always be able to click. No drawers either. Fuck this shit. Anyway, it's the fridge. Yeah, but obviously. Obviously it's the fridge. <laughs> fridge. You sync up the headphones and listen to a live stream of a cooking show about making ramen using household materials. What would happen if we could uh, put it in the desk? Would we see a live stream of a desk making show or a wood cutting show? Imagine the bed. Imagine if we had a smart bed. Live stream, people sleeping, 24 hours a day. Riveting. Unfortunately, you learned that mustard and spoiled milk aren't quite enough to make good ramen. Okay, there should be enough testing for the headphones review. Your accountability, your accountability remains intact right away. Yes, sir. Live intelligence processing stuff. Lips. Because acronym. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Time to get work out of the way. Let's do this. Selling your soul bit by bit, character by character. Finished. Now to send it off to the editor. It's doing it by itself. I don't have to click anything. There, your big break. Surely your glowing review of the GX Ultra Beats is your ticket out of poverty and into a book deal. Surely. I remain optimistic. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed. I agree. This guy's got it all. Got it all figured out. Or you could read some OK Today and catch up on some news before you sleep. <laughs> Fake news. No, no, no. Wait, wait. I don't want to... I want to go to bed. Screw the news. Um, I, I want to stay awake in bed. Go to sleep. There's a prowler on the loose. Creepy. Good, you're finally awake! <laughs> okay! I'm honestly not sure why most humans don't have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. 
be a pathetic human. Uh, no. What? There's there's a Y again. I think they gotta deal with Y guild. They have to put Y into everything. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, I hope you don't mind. I do, actually, yeah. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bisac. I can't find anything. Goddamn one. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Screw your microactuators. He's talking bullshit. Look, the water's still green. Maybe it's supposed to be that As way. As you awoke, <laughs> I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've, uh, run into a bit of a snag. <laughs> um... Obviously. Forget all that. Tell me why you're here or I'm calling the cops. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I love the word subterfuge, it's so... pretentious. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden, until now. Hayden, you say? His name is in blue, he must be important. <gasps> you know, you, you know Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in over a year. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me. You aren't quite my, my only, only hope. hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. Hmm. Where, wait a minute, where's the where's the calling the police stuff? Oh well, he's explaining, so okay, fine, fine, I'll, I'll let it be. Uh, um, I ran an algorithm that? against every contact in Hayden's address book. Of course he has. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. You done figured wrong, son. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, this is true. I am a screw up. Uh Yeah, why should I? Uh, I never look mm. like we're jumping in both feet first. No, no, no. We're going to be an asshole. Why should I have him all I haven't seen Hayden in the years? You might not want to help me out of the goodness of your heart, as they say. Uh-huh. You're a smart one, too. But considering your recent slump in published articles and the lack of liquid assets in your bank accounts. <laughs> Do I smell money? I figured you would jump at the chance to be first on the scene of the violent disappearance of a prominent parallax researcher right in the heart of Neo SF. Maybe, young bluehead, maybe. Hmm. It sort of looks like a me six. Am I wrong? Maybe you store your cash under that ratty mattress in the corner. Whoa. No need for personal attacks on the ma matris mattress. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. Uh -huh. Um... Uh, why would they want he Hayden? He is one of the top researchers at Parallax. But there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. 
It does. Who are you anyway? What do you have to do with it? It. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> You're excused. I forgot to introduce myself. I've yes. never had the pleasure of doing so before. You're forgiven. I am Turing. I guess Gibson was taken. I don't know any more computational cyberpunk names, but okay, Turing. <laughs> I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. You don't say. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. Um. So, Chatty, what makes you so special? A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. <laughs> virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even human seeming. Even when you talk human. To them. Oh my God! And what pretel do you have? Just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. Unlike me. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. When he was just a yay blue ball. So potentially annoying. Sense. Despite my ability to self-modify my code, uh -huh. I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. I understand. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? Ooh, got an old philosophical like. How would you know, one way or the other? once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? Indeed. Ah, oh, I think we're getting a little too philosophical You're here. Right. I apologize for the tangent. Apology accepted. Was anyone out for Hayden? No, I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late, and has warned me to stay alert. But he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills. But I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. Of course they wouldn't. <laughs> Multinational corporations kidnapping people in a cyberpunk game. Probably never heard of it. Well then I guess we should get started. Indeed. Time yeah, is we're, of the we're essence. all on board. Time is of the essence, yes. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account. And the car has just arrived. Oh my god. So convenient. <gasps> I can totally afford that. Lead the way. Yeah, why not the police? They might be able to help. No, we can't. Oh. Okay. One of the last things Hayden told me was to avoid the authorities. We must be cautious about who we inform of this. True. He might have had a point, or... He could have been nuts. Maybe he was nuts. Who knows? My calculations show that the possibilities of a leak are dangerously high. About yay high. Yay. Corruption, despite being a challenge to public trust as well as cohesion of departmental policies, is still a possibility to consider. It is. 
If it becomes public that Hayden has been kidnapped, his life may be put in further danger. His chances of escape would surely decrease. Surely they would. We must keep this to ourselves for now. Please. This is quite a long exposition. Uh, yeah, um, uh... Yeah, we're gonna accept it because we, we, what other choice do we have? We can accept it or turn off the game, which admit might be both equally appealing. Um, all right, blue head, lead the way. Oh my God, we can we can do stuff. We're going obviously. New SF Hayden's apartment. 21st of December, 2040. Hmm, that's strange. Um. Hmm? Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Okay. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Um. Perhaps you have misheard, Maybe. good sir? Maybe. But I find it unlikely. Smug asshole. My audio sensors are more sensitive than a human's ear, and <laughs> I heard Hayden's voice clearly as I made my tactical retreat. Sure. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Let's do that. Oh, a lucky break. It seems my access codes still work. Huh. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Um. Yeah, let's just head in. You've made your point about the door. Let's just head in. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like there was much of a struggle. Well, maybe here. I'm not surprised. You're not? Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. I okay. doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. Well, there, there should have been a struggle, at least. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. <sighs> Aren't you programmed against harming humans? <laughs> of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. To kill, I mean self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. To carve out the flesh, I mean code around an inhibitor. <laughs> I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. Sheesh! He could have? Really? What is he, like three feet high? Wait a minute. Yay. Uh <laughs> would be fun to see you try. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. I'm too weak. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Glad we cleared that one up. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. The thing you ran away like a chicken. But I... Um... Eh. You did the right thing, basically. Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. Let's. Um. First things first. Uh. 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 uh save. Uh huh. Uh huh. Save slot empty. What was save? Uh. Save as. Um. Blue head. Is annoy. And it ends with a Y. Woo! Man, it's a conspiracy by the letter Y. Um, don't. 
Well, that's it for the first installment. It was quite an exposition we had here. Join us next time where we discover more words that end with the letter Y.